Hey everyone, thanks for coming back. Um, I've had a few requests to do some other Yamamoto colors, so I'm going to pour some Cinco's today with Chartreuse Tails, and I'm also going to do some Candy Creek 3-inch croakers. Um, those are topwater frogs. I haven't done those yet, but we're going to do two colors. We're going to do white belly with a green body. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I have two here. This will be my green pumpkin, the base, body, base for the body of the worms and the frog. And I also need to heat up another batch for the white bellies that I'm going to put on the frog. So we're going to start with those. Oh, don't do that. Alright, so we're thin enough now to where I can add my colors. Add some white. Like I said, it's going to be a white belly. Excuse me. You don't want it to be translucent, you want it to be a solid white. <coughs> you can see I didn't do a whole lot. You don't want it to be translucent, you want it to be a solid white. <coughs> it does not take much plastic to do a frog body. But you got to do the belly first and give it enough time to cool. So we have the belly. Then we're just going to pour it in like so. Nice and easy. Doesn't have to go in there fast. I try not to go too high with it. There you go. Just let that set. While that cools, we'll get the green going. Again, this is green pumpkin with gold oh, gold flake that I had made some sinkles with the other day for myself. So we're going to do a green pumpkin with red and gold flake. Jeez, I'm just having dropsies all over the place. That little bit of white won't make a difference. It'll blend right in. Alright, let's see what we got. First, Cannon Creek. Look at that, perfect. <clears throat> I 
this way, Billy. Perfect. Got three of them. And we got the sinkhole. the single port. So now I'm going to show you one other thing. I'm going to use this white here. I'm going to turn it chartreuse. All right, so next we're going to do the same color Cinco, but with a chartreuse tip tail. There's two ways you can do this. Um, the way I the way I'll, I'll do it today is the way I'm going to show you. The other way you can do it is if you ever use a product called JJ's Magic. It's a dye that you can use. No, I am not sponsored by them. I just like the product. I've seen it on YouTube used a, quite a few times. I bought some, decided I liked it, and it, it definitely works. So let's get to it. Man, there's that truck again. I'm going to have to go buy me one of them. All right. <clears throat> now that we got that part poured, go ahead and open the mold. All right. There we have it. We have chartreuse worms. Okay. But we only want the tail. So the first thing you have to determine. How long do you want the tail to be? I just want to make sure they set in there the way they were when they came out. They don't need to be perfect, okay? They just need to sit in there so when you close this, you can still get a tight seal. They'll stay put.
By the way, today is Father's Day. This is the way I can have my dad with me for the day. Love you, Dad. That's what we got. That's how I make chartreuse tip sinkos. Use a lot of that. It's cool. Well, that's how I do it. Um, that's the best way I know how to do it, and it's cost effective, and I like the quality. If you take your time and do, do it the way that'll work for you, you'll also have a little more confidence in your bait. Um, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below if there's any other colors or types of videos you'd like to see me, to, like to see me do. I'm going to try and do some on-the-water videos of stuff that I do while I'm out in my kayak. Um, click the like button if you liked it. Click subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching.